Hello there, it's Stuart from LARPbook and we're at LARPCon 2023. Now I'm with Nick, that is part of UK LTA and UK Freeform. I gotta keep checking these signs. <laughs> and now Nick does an awful lot of interactive props for these games and what have you. So I thought it'd be a great idea for him to actually talk through some of the things that he has made. Now, Nick, thank you very much for taking the time to do this. Thank you. We've already had a little bit of fun with Orak. Yeah, uh, I, I thought I'd try and capture his character on camera. I'm not totally sure I did it, but we had fun with it. It was no, a laugh. It was a boyhood dream yeah. of mine anyway, so I'm a happy bunny. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's talk about some of the things that you have made for laughs and see a little bit how they work and, and, and that sort of thing. Okay, well... The games we play at UK LTA are generally outdoor uh, games, sci-fi and modern, where we're trying to replicate an action movie experience. Oh, yeah. And UK Freeforms do more indoor LARPing, theatre-style LARP um, in hotels and holiday camps and nice places like that. Right. And they, they're more romance and intrigue and political <laughs> drama and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But for both those LARPs, I've made things where we're trying to make props that are very interactive for players so that it doesn't require any intervention from GMs or any Got any you. real kind of hand waving of things. I want them to behave like the real things would. Right, right, um, I'm going to yeah. talk about a couple of different sets of things I've made. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is for UK Freeforms they were running a World War II game and right. I knew they were running it, I wasn't involved, but I said to the writer, I said hey, you're doing stuff with codes and stuff. Would you like an Enigma machine? And they went, yes, please. They put my <laughs> hand off. And so for them, I yeah. made a working Enigma machine that uses the actual World War II code no. thing. And they had, in the game, they had this. Now, it's not a perfect replica, but it's close. Yeah. And what it allowed thing to happen in the game was the Axis characters in the game would receive coded messages right. sent from GM somewhere off screen with information in the things they had to do that they could then decode with the Enigma machine using the real sort of a coding process that would have been used during the war. Wow. And for that to work is you have a uh, coding sheet and you get it come to you and you set some wheels for an initial sort of phrase and then to decode it, you type in the coded message on this keyboard, and when you press a key, right. the thing that lights up is what the actual letter is. I got you. So in the game, they had this in a locked room with people trying to get access to it, so the Axis players were trying to prevent the Allied players getting in. The game's called yeah. Cafe Casablanca, ran a few years ago. Okay. It was well received, and obviously the Allied players are trying to steal the code sheets, yeah. take photos yeah. of the machine, steal the machine, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, that was well received. It then ran in the States, yeah. and this went out to the States, nice. and was used in the game in the States. So, And it's quite a fun prop. It's been used for those two games, but not really since. Now, for UK LTA, I did another highly interactive prop recently, and that was we were running a game based off the TV show Supernatural, for anybody right. who knows it. Oh, yeah, that's a bit. And <laughs> in that game, we had a character who was possessed by an evil spirit. Okay. And I gave them a little box to carry around with them, and this is a replica of something from the TV show, the it EMF is. meter. It is, I know it well. Now, <laughs> in the game, as they got close to the person possessed by the evil spirit, this would do what it does in the TV show. The meter moves up, the lights go up, it makes a noise, it detects them. <laughs> and that's quite fun. Oh, God. But there was another thing as well. Don't show that to my wife, she'll want it. No, I mean, this, this actually functions. It actually <laughs> yeah. does the thing. But also in the same game, there was this, which okay. just looks like a cheap eBay brass compass. Yeah. But inside, there's lots of electronics and the pointer always points to the person who's possessed by the evil spirit. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you were on site, outdoors, there's it. a lot of tech in the background of this. Yeah. And it always works. Now the point in the game was, if it was just pointing to one player, this would all be over very quickly. Yeah. But as you'll know from the Supernatural TV show, the possession can jump from person Getting to, to person, person to person. person. So during the game, the little box that was person got handed from person to person to person and tracked around. And again, this was nice. another request where a friend was writing a game and said, Nick, could you make me something that does this, please? Yeah, yeah. And, and it, it all came out really well in the end. Wow. And yeah, and we always try, certainly in UK LTA games that I'm involved in, to bring tech to make things like they really happen. So, it's, so you're really interacting with a real thing that's 
actually there and happening. Wow, fantastic. Well, I mean, I can I, I can certainly tell you the quality of, of his work is uh, is astounding. A lot of the things that you see, you'll think, yeah, that's 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 just a physical representation. No, no, not with this guy. <laughs> we have many other things going on in our games as well. This is yeah. just a couple of things I brought yeah. with me. Yeah. Well, Nick, thank you very very much. It's been an absolute pleasure talking yeah. to you. Right, thank you. Uh, and so, uh, Stuart from LARPCon 2023. Happy LARPing, folks.